Welcome to the channel. So you're wondering about ROPs and TMUs since you clicked on this video here. So first off, what are ROPs? ROPs are raster operations pipelines or render output units. What do ROPs do? Well, they are the final steps in rendering the image to go to your monitor for outputting. And these are really, really critical for the performance of your GPU. So making sure you have every single one of them for your GPU is a must or else you will lose a lot of performance. Now, what are TMUs? So what are TMUs? TMUs are texture mapping units. And it is kind of what it sounds like. It makes sure that the graphics card uh, puts all of the data in that into place to create the correct image for a 3D image. And again, is another main thing that you're going to need to know and or have for your GPU if you want it to have the most amount of performance for your GPU. So just like ROPs, texture mapping units is a must to have the exact for your graphics card. And to be honest, the more that you have, it's gonna better your actual graphics performance. So what we're gonna check out here is we're gonna check out GPU-Z. So right about here, we have GPU-Z. So GPU-Z here will show us what and where to find these ROPs and TMUs. So what we're going to look at is ROPs and TMUs right here. As soon as you download GPU-Z and open it up, this is the page you'll get. You get sensor to advanced validation and that. The sensors will let you know the actual, what the card's running at, uh, temperatures it's running at, and everything else. So what we're going to look at down here. So right now I have a 3070 Ti. It's GA104, low hash rate model. Uh, revision A1 is one of the first revisions for this graphics card. And right down below the sub-vendor, which is mine as Zotac and PC partner, uh, ROPs and TMUs right there. So ROPs, and again, raster operating pipelines are right here, 96. That's perfect for my graphics card. Again, there wasn't a whole lot of issues with the 30 series card when they came out, except for the 3090s with 12 volt high power connector. But if we look here, we can see 96 ROPs. And if we look right here, right beside it is TMUs, TMUs. Uh, texture mapping units, and 192. Perfect for my graphics card. Now, your graphics card could vary depending on the model um, per year and the actual family of the GPU. It could vary greatly. Again, more ROPs and more TMUs is actually going to give you more performance. So having a higher end model card um, it's going to get you better performance because they generally have more ROPs and TMUs involved. But as you can see here, Mine is perfect. And this is how you can check out with your 50 series card, your 9,000 series card, or whatever graphics card you have, just to make sure that it has the appropriate amount of ROPs and TMUs involved. Again, you can check out your shaders, what uh, DirectX it supports, minus DirectX 12, how many pixel filtrate it is, 175.7 gigapixels, uh, texture filters, 351.4 gigapixels. Uh, memory type is GDDR6X for Micron. GDDR6X is only Micron, so that's why it says Micron. Bus width is 256 bit. And that's another one you're going to have to look at as well is the bus width. The more bus width is actually more performance, as in that's how much you can put in and put out at the same time. So 256, good. The lower it goes, less performance based to the graphics card. And you're starting going to like the budget graphics cards when you got 128 bit. Then you got the memory size and bandwidth. And this card has a good bandwidth for this card. It's PCI Express 4.0, and it's 608.3 um, gigabits per second. So it's very, very good. You see my driver date, it's up to date. Everything's up to date, perfectly good to go. And then you can check out everything else, whether well, now you have resizable bar. So a lot of people don't realize that they're going to be using resizable bar or if they have it enabled, you can enable it in the BIOS. And when you enable in the BIOS, you can check with GPU-Z to make sure that it is enabled. And there you go. And that's all you're going to need for checking out if you have the, the appropriate amount of ROPs and TMUs in your graphics card. You just need to download GPU-Z, and you can download GPU-Z from Tech Power Up here, Tech Power Up GPU-Z, and the version you're going to want is 2.65.1. That is the latest one to date, and that is the one that you're going to generally want to have. Again, that's it.
That's all you have to do. And that's, uh, hopefully this helps you out. And again, I really hope this helps you out for figuring out if your graphic card actually has the appropriate amount of TMUs and uh, ROPs in it. Again, um, letting you know that just because the graphics card has more VRAM, that does not mean it's going to perform better. How it's going to perform better, bus width, bandwidth, and ROPs and TMUs. Again, thank you all for watching. Hope this guys helps you out big time. And as always, don't forget to get her done.